Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. It is Kevin here and I am a young adult in middle grade and maybe one day a little adult author trying to become, no, writer, trying to become a traditionally published author. I really need to work on my intros. But uh, I have an agent and I am on submission and I'm trying to become published, if you're new here. So let's get back to what you're here for this week. I am behind on Camp Nano pretty far behind and <clears throat> also I realized that like I guess my bedroom is my new recording place because the last few videos have all been in bed but like we're moving a lot of stuff around in the apartment so it's just like easier for me to do it right here I'm behind on Camp Nano really far behind to the point where some people would say you could never you can never catch up but they're probably right but I'm gonna try and prove those people wrong and I'm going to see how much writing I can get done today I'm not gonna try and do like oh I'm only gonna do an hour I'm only gonna do two hours like I'm just gonna go until I can't go anymore. That's, That's what, what she, she said. said. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I wanna write as much as I can today. I'm feeling good about where I'm at with my writing, like even if I am behind, because <clears throat> I'm currently almost done with the very first draft of the um, first act. And if you watched last week's video, I talked about, I'm going to turn in the first draft to my agent. So she can read over and make sure like it's all going in the right direction and everything because this is my first time writing a middle grade book. So I want to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. The voice sounds good, all that stuff. But before I send it to her, I'm gonna send it to Damien, my boyfriend, who's a middle grade writer, as well as one other person, if that person's free. I still haven't asked this person because I didn't know when I was gonna be able to get it to this person. So I don't know if that person's gonna be able to. But <clears throat> I'm gonna send it to him, at least, Damien. And then I'm gonna edit it again and then send it to my agent. But for now, what I wanna do is finish the first draft and then I wanna read through the whole thing in one sitting and just check for any consistency errors even within the first draft or anything I might wanna change. And then I'm gonna go through and edit it again and then I wanna read it again. So I wanna read it twice before I even send it to anybody and make edits. So I wanna read, edit, read before it even goes to anyone else. So that's probably what I'll be working on mainly today. <clears throat> However, because it's the first draft and it is just the first act, it's not that many words. I think it's me. I think it's gonna hit around ten thousand words when I'm done, which isn't super long. Uh, I think I could I could probably do all that today and then still have time left over. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna work on once I get done with this, but I'm not gonna stress about that because I need to just get this done first and then I'll I'll come back uh, later in this video, <laughs> obviously, to decide what I'm gonna work on next. Um, besides that, I want to finish, like I said last week, I'm trying to get through my physical TBR. Um, I'm trying, I finished, um, what was it? Uh, Dead as a Door Doornail, um, the last Silky Stackhouse novel that I was reading, and I really liked it. I really like all those books, even though they're just not like, they're just like fun beach reads, you know? But right now I'm reading, um, Dead to Me by Mary McCoy, which I bought in person when it came out in like 2016, I think, and, uh, I never read it. So I want, I'm finally reading this, and... It has a twist that I did not see coming. It's addressing some some issues um, that I did not see coming. So this is a uh, like a noir young adult book set in like, I think it's the 20s in Hollywood. And it's like addressing some issues that I did not know it was gonna address. So I thought that was really interesting. And there's like some twists in here, cause it is noir. It's, it's um, just trying to figure out a mystery of the sister. What happens is the sister, <clears throat> her older sister like runs away. And then like years later they find like, they find her like beaten and almost dead in a park and she's trying to like figure out who what who did it to her sister. And yeah, it's addressing some issues I did not expect it to address. So it's good. I'm I'm like over halfway, so I'll definitely finish this today. Um so I wanna do that in between writing. So <clears throat> as you may know, also if you've been here before, I tend to do writing sprints where I'll jump back and forth between reading and writing because I can't write nonstop. Like Becca C. Smith, love her. She can do like an hour writing sprint. And I'm just like how can you do that? Because I, can't, I literally can't. So I, I can do like 20 minutes. Sometimes I can do 30, but I can't do more than that. So I'm gonna go back and forth. Um, I've recently found out on the Forest app, if you have it, that they do a stopwatch version now. So that way you can just, instead of setting the time, you can just have it count up. So I've been doing that because I don't know how long I can go writing or reading. So yeah. Although the reading, I try to, I try to limit myself to like, half hour writing sprints, I mean reading sprints because I could literally read forever. Okay, I am now rambling, so I'm gonna get started writing and we'll check back in in like a millisecond to see how things are going. Okay, keep watching. I did my first 21 minute sprint, or maybe it's 20, 25 minute sprint. I don't know, I have it in the forest app tracking it. So I did my first sprint, it was between 21 and 25 minutes and 
cat hair in my mouth. And I finished the first act. Now, I don't know what I was thinking. It's definitely not 10,000 words. It's closer to like 7,000. So I'm about to read over it. And like I said, I'm gonna read it, make any edits I need to do, read it again, and then send it to Damien who is laying next to me. Say hi, Damien. He's tired. And then I'm going to send it to Lindsay Puckett, who is the other person that I didn't want to mention just in case she was too busy. I didn't want to be like calling her out and like putting her on blast, but she said she's, she'll read it. Um, and I'm very excited because I've read her book, The Glass Witch, and it was really good. So I know that she's a good writer and uh, I've heard that she's a really good beta slash alpha. I don't know what level this was at, reader. So I know that she'll give me really good feedback and I know she can write really well, especially, um, I just realized it's like flower on the camera from last time I'm, a couple weeks ago when I made bread. Um, I know she's a really good writer and, I, and I've heard that she's really good at feedback. So I'm very excited for Lindsay to read it as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, I also did a half hour reading sprint and I'm getting very close to the end and this stuff's get, this book's getting really messed up. Like there's some stuff that I was not expecting. Um, like I know I already said that, but it's going a direction I did not imagine. Like the mystery, I was just like, okay. Like, it's not in a bad way. It's good. I'm just, like, really surprised. But anyway, um, so I only have, like, I have less than 100 pages left in that book, and I have to read through this, then edit, and then read again. So I'm gonna, probably what I'll do is I read through this, make a list of any edits I want to make, do another reading sprint, then do the editing, and then finish the book, and then do my last read through. That's my guess. But I want to shower at some point, too. I'm feeling... Like I need to shower and I'm getting hungry for lunch. So there's gonna be some stuff sprinkled in, a little bit of stuff sprinkled in, but for now, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna get back to uh, working on this. See how much I can get done today, time-wise. Okay, let's get reading, kids. Okay, everybody, it's been a minute. It is later in the day now. I can't remember if I talked before or after lunch, but I ate lunch, I took a shower at some point, I finished uh, Dead to Me by Mary McCoy, and I um, worked for, I think it was about 40 more minutes. So I'm sitting at like, um, or close to 40 minutes. So I'm sitting a little, um, either at an hour or a little below an hour so far, but what I did was I read through, made edits, read through again, and then sent it to Lindsay and Damien. So I'm not like in a rush to get that back. I want them to take whatever time they need. So I want to decide what I'm gonna be working on next. Um, but I can't really decide what I wanna work on next. I think, because I don't wanna like, I don't want to jump full force into another project because I don't know when they're gonna get back to me. Like I don't know if it's gonna be like a week or a couple days or tomorrow or today, you know? So I don't wanna go full force, full force into another project. Um, because I want to be able to just set it aside to come back to this one if I need to, whenever I need to. So I think what I'm actually going to do is I've had like a secret project, that's what I've been calling it, for a really long time now. That's kind of been like an on and off project. If you've been here a while, you might know that I used to work on an adult romance book that I haven't been thinking a lot about. And I think that if I ever went back to it, which I don't think I will, like for me that is a trunked novel. I don't think I'll ever go back to it, but you never know. The trunk, it opens and closes, you know? Um... If I ever go back to it, I'll probably make it uh, a enemies to lovers um, romance because that was right now. I was like, it's missing something, and I can't figure out what it is. I realize it needs that like that spice. Oh, my camera's about to die, so I need to hurry. So um, yeah, what was I saying? Uh, so I had this like secret project, and I just kind of on and off work on it over a really long time. And I think I might just like try and do the save the cat um, synopsis beats for it because, as I said earlier um, this month, that I. Um, I really liked doing it. It really helped me figure out things for the middle grade book. So I think what I'm going to do is go work on that project. So I think I might do that a little bit and then, um, or I might actually do the Save the Cat, um, beat sheet for one of my other fantasy projects. Um, because I just have, I just have like this feeling that I want to work on fantasy. So yeah, that's it. Okay. My camera's about to die. So I'm going to go work on some more writing and eat dinner soon. And then I'll check back in with you in a bit. Okay. Bye. Hey, it's me coming at you with a quick, quick update because my camera earlier said it was dying, but now it says it has two batteries, two bars. So I don't know what's going on with that, but it's the end of the night. I am done writing. I'm feeling very tired. I get to work early in the morning per usual. Um, but I wrote for two hours and 17 minutes for today. Excuse me. Which, um, it's good. Obviously. That's amazing. I'm very excited with what I got done. I, 
Don't know how far I am behind um, because I don't want to look, but the end of camp is coming up very quickly. Hoping to get at least two more hours done tomorrow to help uh, try and catch up quickly because I think I'm still like, I don't know how many hours I am behind, but I know I, I before today I think I had like 10 hours left, so. Can I do that? I don't know. That's two hours a day. I don't know if that's possible, but for tonight, I'm gonna go to bed. This camera's about to die, so I need to go to. I need to go now. But okay, keep watching. I love you all, and keep on keeping on. Hello, and welcome to the land of horrible lighting. It's time for an update on this writing vlog. Okay, so this is about to fall. I have this really precariously. Ignore all that. That's all donations. That looks like trash. It's it's all donations. So just ignore all that behind me. But yes, I'm wearing the same shirt I wore yesterday because I fell asleep in it and I lived in it today because this is quarantine. Okay, so update, update, update. Today, so far, I Damien read um, the first act and gave it back to me. And then I, at, this is my extra battery. <laughs> I don't know why I'm holding it. Um, I read over it and made the editing suggestions that he um, had. And then uh, I sent it over to Lindsay. I sent her the updated version because I was like, hey, because um, I just sent it yesterday, so I didn't expect her to have read it yet. I didn't even think Damien was gonna read it so quickly. So I was like, hey, instead of reading that, read this instead. And she was like, cool, haven't started it yet, so that's cool. So sent that new version to Lindsay and I'm feeling good about it. Um, I'm really liking it. Yeah, I don't know. I just really like the story and so I like, hope that Lindsay doesn't say it sucks or something, I don't know. <laughs> but that suck. Um, cause like if, yeah. If Damien gives me good feedback, but like, would he tell me something sucked? I don't know. I don't know if he would. I feel like Lindsay might, so hopefully he doesn't. But besides that, I have been working on like the secret project. I don't know why I keep saying that's what I'm calling it, but like, it's not really a secret project. It's just like a fantasy book that I've been working on for a while. Um, and so there was about, so this book is actually like, it has been like a secret, I guess, cause I just haven't really been like following the journey of it here on YouTube just because it's been like a very like right 500 words here and there over the past like year and it is sitting at around like 36,000 words um so what I did it's split up into four parts so what I did is I read over the first part again today um that's what I was doing last night as well and then I read over the rest of the first part today um to like see where it was at like how I was feeling and I like fell back in love with this project not that I wasn't ever out of love with the project but like it just reminded me that like I really like fantasy books like I really love fantasy books I like reading them I like writing them I don't know if I'm good at writing them we'll see but I really like reading them and like I just want to like do that I don't know there's a lot of different things I want to write in, in my life right like I am interested in middle grade I'm interested in like middle grade contemporaries middle grade fantasies I'm interested in young adult um contemporaries young adult fantasies young adult sci-fi I'm interested in adult fantasy adult sci-fi like my like plan as a writer my like writing career goal life whatever is so all over the place that I'm just like will an editor even know what to do with me I don't know so <laughs> Yeah, but for right now, I'm just, I really, this one that I'm working on, The Secret Project, so I'm just gonna call it because I don't really have a name for it. The Secret Project is, it could be a crossover or young adult or adult. You know how sometimes those, those fantasy books that get published and you're like, oh, this could have been young adult or this could have been adult. I feel like it's kind of one of those where it's like right at that sweet spot where it could just be published and I think it would be enjoyed by anyone. Uh, I mean, ideally. <laughs> But I think that it would be enjoyed by both adult and young adult fantasy readers. So I, I like the sweet spot that it's sitting in. Uh, and I'm really loving it. But the first part, the first section, um, I think is good for now. So I'm not going to go and edit anything in there or whatever. I'm going to move on to the next section, which is a different point of view. Because where the first section ended, I now need to some things changed and I need to like flow them better into the second section. Um, and this is like a high fantasy. This isn't like, um, like my witch's book, which is like fantasy set in the real world. Like this is a high fantasy book. Uh, and each section is told by in a different character's point of view. And so I need to make sure the part one and part two flow better into each other now. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna go work on. It is kind of late already. I haven't really, I didn't really record much today. It is 8.50 already. Yesterday, I ended up working for over two hours. I got like two hours and 17 minutes, and that's good. I feel good about that. Today, I'm just sitting at like 47 minutes. I want to get at least an hour today. Like at least, that is my minimum goal of what I want is to get at least an hour. I think that'll be easy to do. 
I think that I'll actually be able to get more than that done, but I don't want to push myself too hard because, again, it's almost 9 o'clock. I have to work early in the morning, so I don't want to step too late. You know, so for now though, I am going to go uh, finish this. I mean, finish this clip because I've been rambling a while and go instead um, work on that because yeah, I need to get at least an hour today. In fact, to finish on time, I know I need to get more than an hour per day. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm feeling good, but I'm also feeling nervous about like finishing, so the 15 hours. I mean, I did like ultimately, it, <laughs> I got the middle grade out to beta readers, um, which is like what my ultimate goal was for the month. Um, and my ultimate goal, I guess, in theory, is to get it Serena, but like I'm not gonna push Lindsay to go quickly or anything like at her own pace. I'd rather her just like do it at her own pace rather than like rush through it just to get it back to me. So I guess my ultimate, my goal though is to get, like I have the synopsis done, I have the elevator pitch done, um, all that. So yeah. That could be with Rena soon. I don't know. I don't know like what her thoughts are gonna be on it because again, this is my first time ever writing in middle grade, so I don't know what she's gonna say. But hopefully, good things. Okay, I'm rambling now. Well, I'm not rambling. I'm, I mean, everything I'm saying is relevant. But this is like a six-minute clip, and no one wants to watch six-minute clip, right? You want me to live? Okay, I'm gonna go work. And again, please ignore all the crap behind me. We're donating lots of things, and it looks like crap. Okay. Okay. See you in a second. Hello, this is a strange angle, but they always are for my vlogs. Okay, so it is the end of camp. Camp is over, it's done, finito, and I just wanted to give you an update of where I'm at. Number one, let's just start right away with saying what I'm, right, what I'm reading right now. <sighs> I read Stephen King before, and it was just not my bag, but I decided I've always wanted to see the movie, Misery, but I was like, I wanna read the book first, and let me just tell you that this book is super weird. Uh, yeah. And honestly, <laughs> Stephen King, first of all, super creepy picture of him. Damien hates it. He will not let me leave it sitting up because he doesn't want it staring at him. Uh, this is just like not the Stephen King that we know, right? This is weird. Um, this book is really messed up, really weird. And um, there's just some problematic stuff in it. And I was just like, hmm, okay. So will this be my last Stephen King book I ever read? Maybe, I also do not understand why there's huge sections of the book he's writing inside here. I haven't gotten to that point yet, but like, is that relevant to the story? It better be, otherwise annoying, and it feels like he's just padding his word count, which isn't he like, isn't that what a lot of people say about him? Anyway, that doesn't matter. We're here for Camp Nano. So let me check to see my exact uh, time I got done. So I ended up ending the month with 600 minutes. That means I was 300 minutes behind. Wait, that's not right. Nope, 645 minutes. I ended the month with 645 minutes. Which means um, that I was, let's see here, 645. Uh, uh, I was 255 minutes behind, which was, that can't be right, four hours and 15 minutes. Well, e either way, it doesn't matter. So this month ended up being a huge success for me. Whether or not I hit that goal, it ended up being a really good month. So to recap, I finished, I think that I did all this this month. I don't even remember now. Uh, I think I finished the, yes, I finished the synopsis of, um, okay, nope, rewind. I did the Save the Cat beat sheets to figure out the, the plot line of the middle grade book. And then I did the synopsis, I did the pitch, I wrote the first draft, I edited the first draft, I sent it to Damien and Lindsay. Here's the part that you don't know yet. Lindsay did send it back to me. I revised the notes that she had for me and I sent it off to Rena, my agent. So that means that the middle grade book now is with my agent. Of course, it's just the first act and it's just the synopsis and it's just the elevator pitch. So it's not the whole thing, but it's still very exciting. Uh, a little nerve wracking because she's never, I've never sent her any middle grade before. So I have no idea what kind of feedback she's gonna give me, what like she's gonna think of my middle grade writing because I personally, I personally think it's different, but as you can kind of see Damien there in the background, wave Damien for this camera, you're really blurry, but you can kind of see. Damien thinks that my writing could lend itself good to middle grade, AKA he thinks that my young adult writing is not that different than middle grade. I disagree, but he seems to think that they're similar enough, but. That is off to Rena, so I have no idea what she's gonna say. In regards to the secret project, which I keep calling that because I just don't have a name for it yet for YouTube, it's not a secret, it's just a fantasy book that I've been working on for like over a year now, like on the sidelines. It's my fun book. Uh, I wrote a new beginning part of, so at, last week I talked, um, no, earlier in this I talked about how I needed to flow better together. And 
I needed to edit the the first and second part need to flow better together. I rewrote the first four pages of the second part and I am loving it so much better. So I'm actually really excited with where that's going. I'm a little nervous to write the next section of that point of view because I'm like doing something that I think I'm gonna need to do some research on because I don't know anything about what's gonna happen, like the real world, how it worked kind of. Cause like fantasy, right? I mean, by real world, I mean like sword fighting and stuff was happening in the real world. So like you have to know, like do like research on that kind of stuff. So it's something like that. Yeah. So I'm feeling really good with where everything's sitting. Um, I've just sent Serena on Friday. So I've not heard back yet, but I don't expect to. Like it's Saturday. No, I sent it to her on Thursday. And today is Saturday. Um, May 1st. So I hadn't expected to hear back yet because it's only been like two days. Um, but I'm just really excited. I'm excited with where that book's going. I'm excited with where the secret project is going. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling good. And even though I didn't hit the 15 hours for the month, I do think that I did a lot of work this month that I'm really proud of and I'm really excited about. So that's a win for me. So that's all I have to say for this vlog. I, uh, hope that you enjoyed your camp or uh, you are at least proud of the work you got done because I said this many, many times, I say it all the time, every camp, every regular nano, it doesn't matter if you didn't hit your goal, if you even wrote 10,000 words, 1,000 words, it doesn't matter, that's still more than what you had before, that's still work you got done and I firmly believe that if you're moving forward, you're making progress, um, whether that's literal word count or um, brainstorming or outlining, like anything is better than what you had before. So I think we should all be proud of what we got done. But. Comment below, let me know if you probably what you got done. Anyway, that's it for this vlog. So thank you so much for watching everybody. I am really appreciative of every single person that decides to watch these vlogs. Uh, I know that you know, you're taking your time out of your day to watch me ramble and um, talk like I'm out of breath because I need my inhaler. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching everybody. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button below. And if you like the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Until my next video, which will be coming out next Saturday, I will see you all later. Bye, say bye, Damien.